Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I know what you're thinking, not another power station review. Um, it is, but I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. And there's gonna be two parts to it. The very first look that you're seeing now, and then a follow-up camping video with a new tent with me and the kids. Um, so I'm waiting for that to arrive. That was part of the reasons why I was keen to test this, which is a brand new unit to the UK and it is released on the 13th of March. So the go live date for this video, this is a brand new product in the UK market. Now the first thing that you're gonna notice is the size. It's absolutely massive. And the box it arrived in, really sturdy, well packaged, but it weighed an absolute ton. So 2,048 watt hours of power in this unit. It's huge. It's got some fantastic features. Um, I've tried other portable power stations and solar power generators by Bluetti. Um, they stand out for me in terms of the build quality, uh, the way it's put together. It does exude quality, so it's very well screwed together. So despite the large size, it's able to charge up to 80% capacity in just 45 minutes. Um, and for a device that can store 2,048 watt hours, um, that is something which uh, is to be applauded and it does so nice and quietly. So I'm gonna plug it into the mains, uh, we're gonna get it topped up and we're gonna go straight in at the max draw test. We're gonna use the air fryer to cook uh, a meal up for one of my kids. Um, another unit I tested wasn't able to handle both drawers. Obviously there's increased current when the second one kicks in. I'm gonna put this in heavy lifting mode. It can chuck out quite a lot of power. Um, so I've had a couple of goes with it. I've not had it for long. So this isn't a review. I'm not calling this video a review. I'm not pretending it's a review. Um, I haven't used it long enough to be able to title this as a review. It's shown you some of the features, what it can do. And then we're gonna be using it on a standalone camping video, car camping. Uh, with a lovely new tent from MSR. Well, that's some content to come. So let's see what this one can do. I'll get it into position. We'll plug it into the mains, give it a little bit of a top up, and then it's gonna face its nemesis, potentially, in the Ninja Air Fryer. So this is the front operational panel of the Bluetti AC200L. And part of my reasoning and my rationale for showing you various different portable power solutions and solar power generators is there are many on the market um, and they are an investment and you need to be informed and make sure you're getting what's right for you. The capacity of this and um, the flexibility this offers, um, I think I'll probably get a week's worth of power, if not more, especially if I'm just charging up iPads or iPhones for the kids or we're watching movies of an evening during our camping trips. So I'll just very quickly fly through the various different features. The on off button, and I've not seen this before, it's actually a physical push in, switch, metallic, um, really robust again, this feeling of solid quality about it. We just press it in to turn it on, press and hold to turn it off, and the unit will switch itself off. You can see there, it's got 84% charging um, from what I've been testing it out uh, over the past couple of days. So we turn it on, and at a glance, we've got 84% left in it. Uh, we've got the inputs on the right-hand side, what the unit's outputting on the left-hand side, Got a bit of a Wi-Fi logo in the top right because the unit is both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth compatible. So you can control it from anywhere if you are in receipt of signal, 4G or Wi-Fi signal. And it's obviously got the time underneath. You can see 99.9 hours. Uh, obviously it's gonna last for a long time in its current state of no draw. So that's just what it's showing you. And that will update in real time. So we start with the DC outputs on the left-hand side. You've got these 12 volt, 10 amp DC uh, sort of barrel connectors. You've also got a 48 volt, 8 amp, and I've not seen that type of connector before. Uh, but if you need a bit more power, you've got that second one to choose from. In the middle, you've got two USB-C. They're both the high charge 100 watt outputs. Uh, if you don't operate the screen, we're in eco mode, it's gonna save power and just turn that display off. And in the center, you've got some old school USB A's, five volt, three amp, two of those there. Now again, unlike other Bluetta units I've tried, the ports on these are covered by this nice thick uh, rubber covers, which just potentially protects it from water and moisture ingress. On the AC side, you've got 230 volt sockets, which can output a maximum of 2,400 watts 
We can also put this into heavy lifting mode. So if you stray over that, in theory, uh, it might not cut out, or that's what it's designed to do in heavy lifting mode. Pure sine wave as well. So I'm hoping that the air fryer, when we get that on shortly, is not gonna prove to be the nemesis for this one because it was the other unit I've tested. This thing is an absolute monstrosity. Uh, it's really gonna provide ample power needs and maybe overkill for some people. Um, but for me, if I'm out filming, I'm charging drones, action cameras, I've got lighting plugged in, the kids devices plugged in, it's gonna be absolutely great. So on the left-hand side of the unit, this is where we've got our inputs and we've got a few to choose from. There's a few ways of topping this one up. We've got our AC from the grid. Like I say, 0 to 80% in 45 minutes. That might not be the best for the battery, but if you're in a hurry, you need it topped up and you wanna go, that's the one that you're gonna be looking at using. For longevity, you're gonna be charging it at the lower rate, or at least I will, because in theory, that's gonna give you, um, it's a little bit kinder, a little bit gentler on the batteries. We've got a DC input, 12 to 145 volts. We've got expansions for linking extra battery packs, so we can increase the capacity, which is already massive, even greater than this. We've got our ground import, uh, just to ground the unit if you need to do that. And if the circuit trips because it's overloaded, we've got our push button just to reset things there. We've got a fan port on this side with a bit of venting, which is gonna draw cool air through the unit and it runs really quiet and it certainly does. You'll see that I'm gonna plug it into the mains in a second. Um, it's not intrusive at all. So in the package out of the box, you get this drawstring bag, which has various different connectors and leads. We've got the AC power lead for charging from the mains. We've got a lead which you can plug into the car, a DC lead to keep it topped up on the move. We've got some solar connectors for some solar panels, although I've not been sent those to review. And we've got another type of solar panel connector just there. So we've got solar, charging on the move in your vehicle and then our main socket and it's a different type of attachment as well you screw on so it really secures in place so we'll just get some power into it um, I like the little touches I like the velcro around the lead all these little things I like the rubberized screw on covers just on the input side and um, you've got three little sockets there you can only go in one way and there's a little marker at the top as well just tells you when it's lined up correctly it's nice and secure, we don't need to over tighten it. So if we look at the app here, and, and hopefully that is focusing for you. Charging mode, it's in standard at the moment. So you can have standard, turbo, and silent. If we put it into turbo, and we hit the display, you can see, look, that's jumped straight up to 1,920 watts in. You know, great if you're in a hurry, but for me, Longevity is the key. So I'm gonna drop it down to standard and the input should drop right down. We're on still 1,890 and it took a couple of seconds and it's dropped back down to 1,200 watts. And that's absolutely fantastic. It doesn't take long to connect, especially once you've set it all up. It's great for updating the firmware, sort of seeing what's going on. You know, if I was in another room, I could keep an eye on this. Um, I could change various settings and if I've got access you know, to uh, 4G um, or, or Wi-Fi or data connectivity on my phone. I could be elsewhere and I can control this and just keep an eye on things if I was, you know, getting up to other bits and pieces. So it's handy to have the app um, and it's just a nice touch as well, being able to update the firmware via the app if you need to. So I think it's about time, even though we're only at 88%, it's a test after all. Um, you know, it's not a glowing demonstration. Let's just see what it can do. We'll just film it and we'll see what happens. So we've got the Ninja air fryer, two bins there. So we're gonna put some, you know, we're gonna put my, my son's tea in there. He loves his air fried stuff. But when there's two baskets um, drawing currents, it's, it's a demanding sort of high draw device. So another unit I tested, it was tripped when the second bin started off on the air fryer. So let's see what this can do differently. We'll turn on heavy lifting mode. We'll do it without. We'll see if we can do it without heavy lifting mode. So you might be able to hear the fans have just kicked in. I'll just put the mic next to the fans just so you can kind of hear the noise, but they are discreet and unobtrusive. So you've got power lifting in the middle of the screen. I'm not gonna turn that on. We'll just see what it can handle. If it trips, 
we'll enable power lifting and see if that can make a difference. But here's the fans. I'm gonna have to take, take the mic off. Right, so we've got chicken in the first basket, some potato waffles, the evening meal of dreams there for my lad. But you know, that, that's his thing, that's what he likes, so that's what he's having in this evening. So what I'm gonna do now is turn on the air fryer. I'll just overlay some crude footage with my mobile phone, just to prove I'm not cheating. So as we're filming there, we'll turn the unit itself on. So this bit now, the other unit we used, didn't have a problem with this one basket. We're gonna know in a couple of minutes time, when both kick in, where it essentially doubles the amount of current uh, that it's drawing, whether this can keep up with the power requirements of the Ninja in both drawers. So I'll bring you back when we swap over to both. Three, two, one, double. 1200, 1280, 2400, that's outputting 2472 watts. That is both drawers. So we've got 78% left. Again, almost 2500 watts out of this unit, powering that. Not skipped a beat. And it's been operated at this level for six minutes almost seven minutes there's no horrendous fan noise there's a little bit of heat being generated from this side and don't forget the units drawing air from left and blowing the warm air out but it's handling it well well this is the volunteer for the video get some nice backlighting for you there so what are your thoughts on the ac200l and the food it's cooked Taste just like anything else. It's, it's, All right. Tastes normal. So, so if we went camping, we could take the air fryer. If you had a helicopter to transport that's, everything. That's mad to think about. Well, yeah, and you could top the unit back up by the sun and just use the air fryer to cook your meals on a camping trip. Be fun, so wouldn't it? To think about, yeah. <laughs> the laughing started already. <laughs> Come and stand here. <laughs> so I've got my little helper on this one. Emily's going to help out with the bluetti. And we're going to use the air fryer again for our tea, which is? Sausage and mash. Sausage and mash, your favourite. So you're going to start doing things. First of all, go to the fridge and find the bag of sausages. Go and get them. So the plug from the Ninja, there it is on, on the side. Plug it into one of those square things. You have to lift the rubber part up. It goes upside down. Look at the way the plugs are. Like a jigsaw. Push it right in. Hook the wire over the top. Right, so turn it on. Yes. Yep. And is it in the AC part? So what do we need to press? Go on. And then I'm going to go round and see how much power. So when I say press start. So it's working all right, isn't it? It's not tripping out. Well, this is carrying on working and it doesn't turn itself off. Yeah. So now it, the screen's gone off, but all you need to do is press this and it comes back on again. So that's how you get the screen on again. And now the big number is 2,447. It may be good because like you can charge or like the ninja and stuff, so you can have like burgers and stuff, but then it can like cook it really quick. So then. Right. <laughs> That's enough for the helper. It's gone silly. It's all right. Is that okay? No. It's my favorite bit. Probably So 55%, that's how much is left. Um, and it's cooked one meal for Tom and part way, you know, of a meal for Emily and I. So it's done well. You're not really going to be using an air fryer out in the wilds or even on a car camping trip, but still it's dealt with the, the high draw um, really well. 
and it's nice to know even without power lifting mode uh, that the unit can handle that yeah. right thumbs up i'll um i'll bring you back for my final thoughts and then like i say we'll be heading out for a car camping video with this unit i'll try and get my hands on some solar panels and then after that i'll be able to give you my final thoughts in a standalone review but so far so good this one's just a bit of fun um, but it is nice and capable I'll top it back up and leave it in situ for when we're going to use it next so I'll speak to you in a bit right obviously that was just a bit of fun we were just seeing what the unit was capable of you know and as you've seen um, that has been the downfall of some other units have got to be fair so then they don't pretend that they can handle the draw that some of those high power um, devices uh, create but to be fair it's handled it pretty well um, you know all jokes aside, no one's really going to be taking a full size air fryer out on a on a camping trip. But you know, stranger things have happened. It's nice to know that you know if you were to get yourself a smaller model or something like that, or even you know like an electric single induction hob, anything like that, this would be absolutely more than capable of powering. Now again, Bluetti did send me this to test, um, but they don't pay me, and there's no script. Um, whether or not you click on the links doesn't matter to me in respect of I don't get anything so I'm not incentivized to say go out and buy this I'm just giving you my honest opinion of it so this isn't a review and I'm not even pretending and not can't say it is um, with any integrity or credibility and um, what it is is a first look at a new device which is coming out in the UK market um, I've never had something this big or this powerful the weight um, and I'll put all the technical specs below it is um, a struggle um, so if you are small in stature and not used to lifting heavy weights not that I am um, you might struggle um, you might have to get a trolley or something like that or certainly getting it over a lip into your car boot it's not easy it's very very heavy and um, you've got to watch your back um, but yeah we're not going into a health and safety video about how to lift heavy items I do like how fast it charges from the grid um, and I like how quiet it is and like all the Bluetti products I've got and um, the quality is there and I like the way you can use the app and update firmware and things like that uh, it would be nice to get my hands on some solar panels for it I've got all the solar panels for all their solar power generators um, but I'm not sure how I would hook them up to this device maybe there's a way um, I'll have to work that out myself um, I like the way um, the ports have got the rubberized covers on um, a little bit of a minor bugbear is you cannot get the plug completely 100% flush with the unit because as these covers lift up when you've got um, the, the UK plugs with the lead coming up this way ever so slightly um, it takes the, the base of the plug away from the unit we're only talking a couple of millimetres but still um, you know if you wanted to you could maybe remove these uh, they've done it just to keep sort of liquid and moisture out of it that's just a very very minor bugbear with it so these things aren't cheap it's a considered purchase and it's you know if you can get some solar energy into it that's where you're going to recoup your costs in time lithium iron phosphate batteries and um, they're really safe uh, tried and tested and whilst they weigh more and you do notice it again on the weight you'll get more charge and discharge cycles out of it and again it offers better value for money because it will last you longer longevity is the key if you're spending money on something you want to get as much use out of it as possible especially when we're all struggling in terms of cost of living so that's great too i like the display it's clear and easy to read especially in bright sunlight i've seen some other models of solar power generators where the display is slightly hard to read but there's really bright easy to read graphics on that so that's a big plus uh, there doesn't appear to be any wireless charging options on the top of this one i've got bluetti ac180 uh, which does have a single wireless charging option on the top of the unit you don't get that with this but for me it wouldn't be a deal breaker because you've got the 200 watt high power or pd usb-c port on the front of the unit too you can use this as a universal power supply so what that means is if you've got this plugged into the grid and then you're working on something like an important project on your laptop or what have you uh, or something where you cannot have the power fail and um, if you've got your other device plugged into this in the event the grid fails this will switch over rapidly a couple of milliseconds 
and it will ensure that the device you're working on never loses power. That's what that feature does. And if you just want that belt and braces approach for peace of mind, again, you've got the UPS option whilst using this when it's plugged into the grid too. So the other nice feature, um, and I probably wouldn't ever see myself needing to do this, um, but you can expand the capacity with add-on battery packs. Just using this port here, which I demonstrated earlier. I haven't got any of those, but if you link them in, um, you can sort of link some of them together and get even more capacity. So uh, those of you that have um, camper vans um, that don't have battery packs installed or leisure batteries, um, they are expensive and when you factor in the cost of installation and things like that, uh, this becomes to be a, another serious alternative uh, to consider, especially when you can sort of use it in various other applications as well. So if you've got a camper van, you don't have a leisure battery, you can have one of these, you could use it in your camper van, you could use it standalone car camping, you could use it for, you know, we often do movie nights in the back garden in the summer, take this out there, you know, normally we have to chuck an extension lead out the window, which is a pain in the backside and you've got wires trailing everywhere, not so with this. So they are a lot more flexible, um, and there's various different applications that you can use them with. So for peace of mind, Bloetti offer a five year warranty, which is always good just for that, you know, reassurance, the peace of mind. If you're spending cash on one of these units, you wanna know in the unlikely events that anything goes wrong, that you're covered by the manufacturer. I'd always encourage people to buy them directly from Bluetti. There's often offers, and on that note, if they offer me a discount code, it will be in the description to this video. So scroll down, get below the text, and there'll be a discount code there if Bluetti are kind enough to offer me one. So the maximum input of this, you can use AC from the grid and solar panels simultaneously. I'm not sure how that would work. Practically speaking, you'd need an extension lead. Well, I would. Um, coming out of my home um, to my garden. So I don't know whether that's something I'd use, but it's nice to know if you want the ultimate power going into it. And I'd never do it just in terms of looking after the batteries. Um, yeah, 2,400 watts. And that applies for the maximum discharge rate, 2,400 watts. Um, as you saw, the air fryer was taking it over that and that wasn't with power lifted mode activated and it didn't cause the unit any issues. So maybe that's a little bit of a conservative figure on Bluetti's part, uh, just to stay on the right side of things. But as you've seen, um, it coped with a draw of more than that for, you know, 10, 12, 14 minutes as it was using the Ninja air fryer. So that's my final thoughts. Uh, again, not a review, just a first look at a new product and some of the, the features it offers. Um, I spoke to Bluetti and stated that I'm waiting on a new tent. Um, I'm gonna be heading out to the Lake District National Park with my children, uh, who very kindly helped me out making this video. They always like to get involved and it's a bit of fun. Um, but yes, we're going to be doing a car camp with a new bit of kit, a lovely tent from MSR, the Habitude, uh, which is a nice family tent. And our power needs will be looked after by the Blue SE AC200L. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Maybe I'll have got my hands on some solar panels by then, or I'll have found out how to attach my pre-existing ones. But I will be back out on a wild camp very soon. I'm sorry that there's been sort of an influx uh, or two consecutive videos um, about portable power stations, um, but life is hectic and I just get to film things as and when at the moment. Um, so I've kind of put these together at, at sort of short notice. Um, so the wild camping content will be resuming very soon with the odd uh, gear review. And I've mentioned previously, if gear reviews aren't your thing, there's absolutely no offense. If you wanna skip this video, you don't wanna comment on it or you wanna pass it by, uh, there's no offense taken whatsoever. Just skip it, wait for the wild camping content or the content on MCM Outdoors, which suits you best. So thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions about this unit, let me know in the comments. And big thank you to Bluetti for letting me try it out in this video. Take care.